I'm just going to ask you a question. Sorry if it sounds a bit um, cliche, but it's just I'm aware of my American audience who will want to know um, what is the diff you know what is the difference between the Navy SEALs and say the SAS and, and the SAS. Um, well, there's a number. There's a number of differences. One would be. So as an, I'll describe what we are, and then I'll describe what I think um, Navy SEALs are to, 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 to make that distinction. But certainly for, for the SES, we, we traditionally recruit from RAF, Army, Navy, Territorials, and they'll all come in. And then they're split into troops, and that's it. And we have our own boat troops. So boat troops, one quarter of our uh, squadrons that do that. And they'll do traditional um, Navy SEAL-type um, operations generally. What happens normally for the SBS, the Special Boat Service, is that they are primarily recruited from Marines, and that Marines will then join the SBS and the SBS will then do their boat course, which our boat troop guys go and do with them. Now, that SBS boat course and sort of parts of the Marine course will be similar to what the Navy SEALs go through when they do their training. And the Navy SEALs, in my understanding, is that SEAL Team 6 are the sort of main counter-terrorist unit within the Navy SEALs. They'll go through quite a rigorous um, sort of marine-based uh, selection process, which will have different modules attached to it. But then Navy SEALs, and this is where some people get um, mixed up, Navy SEALs are probably, particularly SEAL Team 6, are predominantly the main sort of door kickers, counter-terrorism unit within the US. People think it's um, Delta Force. Delta Force are completely separate, and Delta Force were modelled on um, the SES. So there was a major, I'm trying to remember his name, um, he came across and he saw selection, he saw how the SES were sort of uh, um, structured and what they were meant for, and he went back and he designed almost a sort of replica in terms of a six-month selection process, what they were looking for. And that made Delta Force, who are traditionally from all sorts, Green Berets, Rangers, and all that sort of stuff. And they, they have a counter-terrorism element to them as well, um, but they operate slightly differently in how they um, go about doing their business. And the only reason I say that is because I was fortunate enough to do an exchange with both of them. So when we went um, out to the Middle East, I ended up in a team with SEAL Team 6 and one of the Delta Force um, teams as well. So, yeah, they're slightly different in how they are. And people get mixed up between the SAS and the SBS. Um, the, e the SBS are probably closer to SEAL Team 6. Um, the SAS are a sort of hybrid of SEAL Team 6 and um delta force um you know just like their rangers are like our paras but to put it in a perspective the u.s marines have more soldiers than our army mm -hmm. more ships than our navy and more aircraft than our raf and that's just their marines so they're a big unit this the the u.s so when the u.s talk about special forces you know they've uh, they've got over a hundred thousand special forces you know the, we, we have maybe 500, you know. And of course, another ish, another thing to remember is the SAS of our army and the, S, the SBS and the Navy SEALs are a Navy. Just, a, just thought I'd clear that up for people who didn't know. Yeah, and, 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 and with the Special Air Service, although, you know, the people might think that's RAF or it might be Navy, but we also have, there, there's quite a lot of Marines um, in the SES. So we have a lot of ex-Navy, just like we have a, a lot of um, RAF, there might be guys from RAF Reg and stuff in there. Um, so, so, so the SES are a sort of hybrid of all the units within the, the British military, really, which is one of our strengths. You know, we wouldn't want to have 
all paras, all marines, you know, all navy. We 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 would we, we, we like the fact that we're we've got people from all different backgrounds and and stuff. Hello, friend. I'm Chris Rule. I'm a former Royal Marines commando, and I'm the only person I know that has ticked every item off my bucket list. Now, if you'd like to achieve all your goals, hit the subscribe button, and I'll show you how to smash it out of the park.